Developing tonight on 13 Action News Live at 6, police are investigating a deadly hit and run crash. A pedestrian hit and killed and the suspect running away on foot. This happened right on Flamingo between Paradise and Cobol, and that's right where we find 13 Action News anchor Carla Wade with the details on the suspect here. Carla. Yeah, Todd and Trisha, police at this hour and focusing their investigating on locating that suspect. As you can take a look here behind me, you can see that Flamingo is still shut down a really unusual site for this time of day. They believe that that suspect, this is some new information that we just learned from police, was responsible for another hit and run that occurred just moments before the one here that left a bicyclist dead. Police say that the victim was on a bicycle going eastbound on Flamingo in the bike lane when the suspect's vehicle hit him at the corner of Flamingo and Tuscaloosa. Tuscany Casino Drive. They say that the driver did not stop and instead ditched the car at the Silver Sevens Casino and then took off running through the casino as Good Samaritans tried to stop him. This latest crash clearly frustrating law enforcement who have launched several campaigns to reduce the number of deadly accidents. This is disgusting and it's not acceptable. Uh, we have really bad driving behaviors here. It's no secret. This is the 10th fatality that we've had year to date, and we're not even done with the first month of the year. And we want you to take a look again at this picture. This is the man that police are looking for at this hour. They tweeted out this picture of the suspect after determining that they say he was the same man that they were trying to locate in an earlier hit and run nearby. Now, when caught, that they say that the suspect faces multiple charges, including possibly murder. Carla Wade. 13 Action News, elevating Las Vegas.